Speaking of entertainment, it's time for some right now, some live entertainment. We are indeed delighted to present to you the Amico Renegade Steel Band, direct from Trinidad, Tobago. This is their first TV appearance here on the Saturday Magazine, and they've been in this country for the last two or three days. We want to find out more about them and their unique instruments. And Mr. Patrick Hamilton is a spokesman for the Amico Renegades. First of all, where did the name come from? Amico Renegades came from way back when in our country, which is Trinidad and Tobago, and the steel bands, they, at the time uh, the, the, this band was formed, the emphasis was using names that came from new motion pictures, Renegades, mm -hmm. Casablanca, all this. So the, the boys just took that name, Renegades. How long ago uh, was the band formed? Approximately 35 years ago. 35 years ago? Yeah. Now the, the steel drum itself came from Trinidad and Tobago, right? Yeah, the instrument as such, the drum, we make the instrument out of any steel drum. But we're, it's a process where you have to sing the drum and then groove it, eat it, and then put it into tune to get the correct notes. All right, now, uh, let me just ask you another question about the band itself. You are the uh, champions of Trinidad? We are the champions of the Panorama Festival in Trinidad for 1982. This is a festival which uh, at the the carnival. This is our carnival festival. This is one of the competitions within the festival and this is held usually within the first three months of the, the year. And this year we are the champions. How many uh, other bands did you have to c compete against? Approximately 80 something bands. Okay. I think we should point out also that uh, there are six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Uh, who will be playing, but this is just a small portion of the size of this band. They're all here uh, in, in the States, but we can only have room enough in this studio for just six of them, but the sound you're going to hear was going to sound like there's an entire room full of people here. Then what is it, like 32 different members? Yeah, we the traveling party is with 35, 32 uh, playing members, three official, uh, but we use this grouping of seven to give an indication just of the different instruments coupled with the fact that the studio can accommodate the whole band. So we just want to give the, the public, the American public, an indication of the different instruments, right? All right, now tell me about how these drums, these are literally steel drums, 50-gallon right. ga 50 steel drums, right? They cut to different sizes, and they are sunk to different sizes also, to different depths, sorry. There's like the tenors, what we call the tenor with, with um, facilitate with the soprano range in any other orchestra. And then you have the double seconds and double tenor, which will be more or less on the alto with another um, band, if you have a, a band, on the, the bass there. Yeah. So, so, so each drum has, or each, uh, each pan has a different tone to it and a, yeah. and a different note. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the music that you play is not written down. How do you remember where to go next? No, it's just an art, you see. Once you get into it, you, you keep it. We, there's a special talent with us. We just get into it, we know our instrument, and we play. Well, normally you think of uh, the steel band playing something like Yellow Bird or some Calypso song, but you people actually play uh, classic sym symphonic pieces. Yeah, we are capable of playing anything, anything, any piece of music, any piece of music from anywhere around the world, we are capable of. 32, 33 people going around with at least 30 or 40 different songs just committed to memory. Yeah, and we play them off the bat. Not now, to show you how difficult that would be, just think of a, a classic symphonic orchestra with no music in front of them playing and that's what these people do. And uh, what is the, the, the first selection you're going to play is, has nothing to do with symphonic music nor uh, with calypso music. It's something that, uh, that's quite familiar. Yeah, the Glenn Miller, In the Mood. In the Mood. A popular American. All right, and we, I heard them rehearsing earlier, and uh, if you've never heard a steel band, you haven't heard In the Mood quite the way it's played right now. Mr. Patrick Hamilton, thank you very much. And now the Amico Renegades. <laughs> 